find the area of the triangle. All right. Area of a triangle, if you remember, is one half base times height. So looking at what we have here, we have a base and that just happens to be B, 24. So that's good. But we don't know what the height is. Now the height of the triangle is right here. So in order to find that, we need two things. We, we Actually, if we had angle A or angle C, we could use right angle trigonometry to find the height. So let's do that. Let's find angle C. And to do that, we're going to need the cosine law. So use the cosine law. To find angle C. All right, the cosine law says C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of C. Let's plug in what we know. C is 10 squared is equal to 20 squared plus 24 squared minus 2 times 20 times 24 times the cosine of angle C, and that's what we want to find. All right, let's multiply a little bit of this out, put in an extra step or two just to avoid making errors. 120 squared is 400, 24 squared is 576 minus, now what I'm going to do so I'm going to multiply all of that together. Now doing that, I get 960 cosine of C. I think that little steps like that will help you, all right? It'll be much better, and uh, you won't make as many errors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the 400 over as a negative, 576 over as a negative, and I get a negative 876 is equal to negative 960 cosine of C. So cosine of C is equal to 876 divided by 960. We divide both sides by 960. And then angle C... I'll multiply this out. Uh, 876 divided by 960 is 24.15. No, no, no. That's not right. That's my answer. Sorry. I kind of gave it away there. 0.9125. All right. So to find C, which we kind of know what that is now, We do the inverse cosine and we get C equal to 24.15. So that's this angle. All right, now we need to find the height and we can use sine to do that. Uh, let's do that right in this little box here. We have the sine of 24.15 is equal to the height over the hypotenuse, which is 20. So the height is equal to 20 times the sine of 24.15, which equals 8.18. So there's my height. 8. 0.18. All that's left now to find the area is to plug in these values. Now it took us a little bit to find that height, but it's just using the cosine law and some right angle trigonometry. Multiplying this out, I get an area of 98.16. And there's our answer. So three steps here. We have a 
First step, use the cosine law to find the angle. Second step, use right angle trigonometry to find the height. And third step, find the area.